are driving again. Again, one of the easiest ways for me to film. Hey guys, um, it's Rochelle. I'm back to do another car vlog slash where have I been slash this is what I've been doing lately. Again, um, giving you guys my weekly favorite um, device. So, first of all, let's just talk about what I'm vaping on. I'm uh, been testing out for about two weeks now the Wismic Tinker 2. Um, the tank that it came with was called the Trough. I was unimpressed with it. I liked the size of it. I liked the way it looked on the mod, but the coils literally lasted me three days. So for me, that was like a, uh, I mean, and I don't use very, um, sugary e-liquids. I mean, I like my, my fat kid e-liquids and, you know, I, some of them have a little bit of sweetener in them, but for me, I get, like, if we talk about the Falcon or the Valerian, I can get a week, um, 10 days to two weeks, depending on what liquid I'm using, out of that three days to me was just like, uh, and I was using buttercream from Cream Team, and I know I can get almost two weeks, um, on majority of my favorite tanks, coils, so, to me, I threw out the trough, so I ended up putting on, um, the Crown 4 BMI edition onto this, which I don't think I ever officially reviewed it, but I really, really like it. I like the, the Crown 4 coils are amazing. They're one of the ones that I think can last almost two weeks. And I apologize for all the, someone needs to do some road work around here. And I'm going the back way, so I'm not dealing with, you know, mainstream traffic. Um, so I can actually vlog this. So... <laughs> It's freezing out. It's 47 degrees. I am so not ready for this weather. I am a tropical person. Um, anything below 70 degrees and I'm freezing. So I've got a couple layers on. But anyways, so I kind of went... So, uh, let's just have a baby. So I'll get to the whole mod part here in a minute. So I don't even know how this is going to sound. I'm hoping it's going to sound okay. Let me see if I can do just some adjusting here. Okay. And yes, I got Starbucks cups everywhere. We all went out um, for family or I, I went out with my husband last night on a date night and we both drank in and I didn't unload it out of my car. So please excuse the Starbucks. If you guys know me, I'm obsessed with Starbucks. It's just the way it is. Anyways, I digress. Um, two weeks ago, I went through some stuff. I'm not going to go into it because I probably will get really upset and cry. But um, life has di not been going the way I have wanted it to. Um, for the last two years, it seems like every curveball that can be thrown at me has been thrown at me. Um, and, and I've overcome it. It's just, when is enough enough? Like... When am I going to catch a break is what I've been asking myself. And, you know, I had to start back doing some, something that I wasn't prepared to do. I thought I was going to be on a different path um, this month. And I'm kind of having to take a step back and not be on that path. And I know I, I sound really like, um, what do you want to call it? cryptic, but it just, I can't get into it. And I don't want, although I like to share my life with you guys, there's some people out there that all they want to do is be negative and I just can't handle any more negativity in my life. So just know that I didn't intend to be almost two weeks before I posted again. I, I kind of like this once a week, uh, video vlog with you guys. Um, it's number one, if I, as long as I don't put anything in the description, um, I thought I was going to be not demonetized, but I think that they've demonetized my whole channel because I am 99.9% .9 vaping related. So it shouldn't matter at this point. So I don't care. So my goal is going forward to kind of give myself an outlet and kind of touch base with you guys is share a product that I've tried out for an entire week let you guys know my thoughts on it and kind of give you guys an update and just chit chat for a little while. So if you guys like that idea, let me know below. If you kind of want me to put out one review a week, um, 
and do it sit down the way I normally do. I may get into that again. I may. I just, right now, I can't. I just, every time I go to sit down and film, I'm like, why am I doing this? Why am I dragging all my filming equipment out? Why am I getting myself dressed? And I just don't feel good. I just don't feel that's what I want to do. So, dilemmas. I don't know. Anyways, so that's kind of where I'm at. I hope in, you know, you get into that thing where you have all these thoughts in your head and you try to spit them out and they just don't sound like you got it all out there or I'm rambling. I don't know which one. But hopefully you guys get what I'm, t I'm talking about. So let's kind of go back into the vaping talk and let's talk about um, the Wismic 2. So in my opinion, the Wismic uh, Tinker 2 was supposed to be their kind of um, rendition of the Aegis Legend. It was supposed to be their more destructible one. At least that's what I thought because you've got like this leather um, snakeskin type feel to it. It's got the more industrial type battery door and then they've got the cover, this cover over the USB port, which is fine. But by no means is it waterproof. I don't think that you could keep any kind of water because there's too much um, going down in here. And again, I will include any pertinent information somewhere in here. It's kind of harder with these vlogs because I have less space um, where I can zoom out um, when I'm doing sit down videos and insert that stuff. But I'll try to put some stuff out there. Um, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's a dual 18650. I mean, the menu options are really easy to navigate through. I think it looks pretty cool. I just don't think it's even close to being remotely like the Aegis. I mean, the Aegis, any of the Aegis products have withstood the test of time. I could honestly say I'd probably chuck this against the, the ground and it'd probably be busted. That being said, there's some really good prices on it right now. I know a lot of sites are kind of in this panic mode with all the stuff going on. They're putting on sales, they're putting, especially on e-liquid. Um, they're either giving out e-liquid. 8 Vape is a site that I love. I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon, but they've put out some really good deals and they're trying to you know, reduce their inventory where before a lot of these online retailers um, were stockpiled with everything you could possibly think of. I think they're being more selective because they don't know where the industry is about to go um yeah so for me it's not a bad mod whatsoever obviously you know I didn't stop using it. I kept using it um I like the hand feel it feels really really nice the battery life is to me is just average again I did the um I reviewed in my last vlog the smoke d barrel I think the battery life on that's phenomenal for a dual um uh, 18650, which by the way, if you go to a vape, them suckers were down to like 1990, 1998 or something this past week. I'm not sure if the sale's still going on. They had like tons of stuff. And I was like, oh, I really wanted another color, but I didn't want a rainbow and I didn't want a black and red because I've got a bunch of black and red. But if they would have had it in black and gold, it would have been all over. I would have gotten one. But really, really love that mod. So that's basically it. I just wanted to say hi guys, keep it short and sweet, under 10 minutes, let you guys know what's going on with me. Kind of get, I really would like you guys to be active down in the comments. Let me know exactly what you want to see from me. It's not going to go back to where I'm posting every day, not even every other day. I will commit to one a week, um, but let me know what you want to see. If you like this type of, you know, mentions of products, I'm not going to go into huge details. Anybody, when you're going to to shop, especially these days. You're going to be a smart shopper. You're going to look at the specs. I'm just going to let you know what I think of it, how it works. It does it have any f major flaws. That way, when you're making a buying decision, you can kind of take into account, well, you know, Rochelle said that the, basically the thing will break the second you drop it. I didn't say about this mod, but something like that will make you, uh, help make you have a better buying decision, if that makes any sense. But in all in all, everybody to each their own I may like things, you may not like things, it's just the way it works. Not everybody's going to like everything, but I just wanted to share my thoughts on it. So, I am finally at Starbucks. The line is long, but I just wanted to drop in and say hello. I'm still here, and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. So, until next time, I hope you have an amazing day or night whenever you're watching this. Stay tuned to the next video. Until then, be fun.